Hello everybody, this is Salvatore Vinciguerra. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my Ford Explorer and my Sonic 190 VRB. This is what I go around and travel in and uh, I'm going to be telling you a little bit about the equipment that I use inside and outside of the car to go camping. Um, I'm sorry I'm not in my shirt and tie today. I know some people are shocked. Uh, I'm in a t-shirt, my BB King t-shirt and uh, I will be having a few videos that uh, will um, be talking about Memphis, Tennessee and the sights and attractions that you can see when you go there. I hope you enjoy this video. So I know a lot of people think that I'm a little bit nuts for traveling this way. And um, what they don't know is that once upon a time I was a Boy Scout um, I liked going out there in the woods with my fellow uh, Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts. And um, you're going to find out later um, how cost efficient this way of travel is. Um, according to the RV Industry Association, this is a $20 billion industry and it creates $50 billion of economic um, you know, addition to our economy in the United States. Um, it grows by 17 to 20 percent each year. The biggest states that buy RVs are Texas, California, Florida, Ohio, and Michigan. So um, why do I do it? And it's very cost efficient. Um, when you travel, it saves you about 27 to 62 percent of the costs when you're traveling this way. So many times I'm out driving and uh, I get stopped for two things. People come up to me at gas stations and first of, they'll ask, well, you went to Boston University. That's the first one. The second one is that this is a Ford Explorer pulling a Sonic travel trailer and they can't believe it. Uh, but the Ford Explorer does tow. And when they first started advertising the new edition in about 2012 or so, um, they showed it pulling a boat and you know it can pull many different things when you go to the Ford dealership um, you know and you try to get the hitch on something like this they won't sell it to you they'll only sell you a class one or two hitch but they will not sell you a class three hitch and that's something that I did because the sonic travel trailer or the 190 VRB um, is about over 3,000 pounds and so you do need a class 3 hitch. And the class 3 hitch can pull about 5,000 pounds. And we're going to uh, get a little bit closer to the equipment. And here it is. This is the Pro Series. And you can see the type of hitch that I have on here. I have a um, weight distribution hitch. And what it does is it puts all of the different weight from the trailer onto and equalizes that weight with the rest of the vehicle so that it's all equal and nothing is overpowering one another. There's also a sway bar that goes in this area and maybe you'll see some other videos and photographs later of this particular setup. Above the electric tongue jack um, I have a little organizer which um, you know you can buy some of these things I'll put it in the description uh, there's this uh, plastic item that holds up the chains and the cone is um, there too and that's for the tongue jack and you see how the battery is and it's tied on with a bungee cord. As you see there is a canopy that comes out and I'll put it out for you later in the video and um, you know it is a double axle and that's one of the reasons why I purchased it because it adds stability and it tracks very good with the Ford Explorer. Here's the back of the trailer. I added in addition to I paid about seven hundred dollars for the backup camera. It is a must-have. I travel alone. I don't have anybody to help me. Yes, I scare people coming into the campground and my first time out I scared all the people at Fort Wilderness but it has a camera right there and it also comes with a spare. Here's the inside of my rig. It's a 2013 Ford Explorer. 
Um, I am using a Garmin RV GPS. It's very helpful. It's specifically for RVs and you can then uh, set it to a mode where it can then turn into a car. Um, it tells you where the stops are, um, helps you out with the height of your RV. It's a very big screen. Um, when you're planning a trip, it tells you where you can get off and it has voice control and traffic. On the other side, you can see my Voyager backup camera. It's also an observational camera, and I'll show that to you uh, when I walk around uh, the rig. Um, you'll see it in the back of the rig, and it's very helpful in backing up um, this trailer. And um, one of the other things that I like about Ford um, is that it has um, its own backup camera and sync where it can sync your phone and one of the things that I don't understand about modern driving and people is that they have cars but they're still holding a phone to their ear while they're driving and it's very dangerous and so Ford sync technology avoids that and makes it safer for people to travel especially if they like to talk a lot um, so um, I use it all the time um, I'm not talking all the time in my uh, Ford Explorer, but um, I appreciate that I can call 911 um, just with my voice. And so even the um, Garmin RV, the voice control, can uh, turn into a speakerphone itself. So these are some very helpful devices um, coming from the vehicle and coming from some accessories that I purchased to help my RV travels safe for everybody. By my feet in the Ford Explorer, I have this Kirk brake controller. And uh, when I put on the brake for the Ford Explorer, it also brakes in the back of the Sonic. And it's very helpful when I travel and the braking and maneuvering of the vehicle. Here's the other side. Notice I added the reflective tape here. And that's because I got hit in this area last year coming back and I went all the way to Nashville, New Orleans, Memphis and everything. And uh, then somebody sideswiped me, cost about $5,000 worth of damage. And luckily State Farm, except for the deduction, uh, covered it and uh, made, you know, replaced everything and put it back to the way it was. But I added the reflective tape for just some extra, you know, awareness that, hello, don't hit me. Uh, while you're driving through, uh, you know, on the interstate and so forth. Um, but you see it has the electric cable uh, hookup. It has a regular cable hookup and um, another port over there for your ZAMP solar wireless kit, which you can install yourself. Um, you see it's an on-demand water heater, and sometimes this can be done residentially too. Where I'm staying is only electric and water. I'm not boondocking. Not yet. I have to buy a generator and so forth. I'm still researching that. And uh, there's an extra port right next to the city water connection that um, you can use to first flush out the black tank. And uh, that's very helpful when dumping. And I can do a whole video on the art of dumping another time, uh, but not here. Um, then there's a shower, which I find very helpful if, you know, you're messed up over here at the dump station or something. That water can come out right there and you can get cleaned up. Um, and then you have your electrical input. You have your vents over here uh, for the refrigerator and so forth. And um, you have two bottom storage areas on either side. And of course, your jacks. This concludes this video. Um, I hope that you would enjoyed it. This is Salvatore Vinciguerra. Please don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Thank you very much.